Good morning! Today is a beautiful day and we are going to go explore Da Nang. So let's go together! This video was sponsored by ExpressVPN. More at the end of the video. Cảm ơn! Thank you! Last night's clubbing killed me. My skin's absolutely terrible. I'm sunburned. Um, skin's flaring up. So our first stop is Gone Market with over 2,000 stores. There's a whole bunch of things to do from eating, shopping. Make sure you haggle. Let's check it out. Don't be fooled by Twee's white angelic kind of outfit. She's a bully. I'm not a bully. She kicked me all day yesterday. Bully. Bully. <laughs> this market seems quite clean. Walk in one of the alleys to find a whole bunch of restaurants, people eating, a lot of people cooking. We're trying to look for some coconut worms. Let's hope we don't find it though, because <laughs> apparently you eat them alive. It's about 40 degrees in here, so all the food is very questionable. I feel like anything you eat, uh, it's just gonna come straight out. Beware. The latest tourism videos. So this is a good place to buy souvenirs as the prices are really cheap and you don't have to haggle too much just because they don't try to scam you here. Some do. Some have. But, but they're pretty good prices though. So. I'm telling Sun off because he's trying to haggle more and I'm like, they're trying to make a living. <laughs> it's a hot, oh, for 13, you get up a hot, I'm just like. That you, um, you had, you, 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 you could. Shut the mouth there! It's a music video. <laughs> <laughs> come back at Chinaman. We couldn't find the coconut worms, so hopefully we can find it in Saigon. Otherwise, I don't really mind. I don't need to eat that shit. Welcome back to Jelena's Tourism Vlogs. We're at the Marble Mountains in Da Nang. The mountains are a cluster of five hills made from limestone and marble. They're named after the elements wood, fire, earth, metal and water. So we're going to go check it out. Yay. Let's go! It's so hot. Oh, it's so hot. Oh no. Oh no, why are we
nice and cool in here. So yeah guys, pretty much uh, just rocks. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, now I realize I need to exercise more. <laughs> they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. And that was the Marvel Mountain. Cost 15,000 to get in. You can use the lift to go up and then everything else is fine. Don't pay any more than that. Uh, we didn't explore everything, but you get the gist of it. It's rocks and temples. <laughs> I'm hungry. So when you visit the Marble Mountain, make sure not to pay any more than 15,000 dong. There's gonna be a lot of people that will try to make you pay 40,000. It might say like ticket, box, entry, fee, blah, 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 and it might look really legit, but don't worry about that. They're just trying to trick you because we got tricked. So just use the elevator, go up 15,000 and explore the Marble Mountains for as long as you want. Yay! You wanna go to... Do! Do! Do, man! Do! 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 So we are getting Ban Sao at Ba Duong, and this is the Ban Sao alleyway. So you walk down to the very end, and here it is. Oh yeah! Let's try it. Apparently one of the best bun sao in Da Nang. So you can see all the aunties prep all the food, frying bun sao, getting <laughs> cooked in that giant pot right now. Prepping, planning, soups and everything. This place is crazy. There's a random rice cooker right next to us. And some chilies and use chopsticks. So there's only four things on this menu that really just specialize in that bun sao. Um, some nem lui, some noodle, and some beef. So babe, what's bun sao for the people who don't yes. know? So bun sao is a Vietnamese pancake made up of rice flour, water and turmeric powder. It's usually filled with bean sprouts, prawns and pork. But if you go to different restaurants, they'll have different fillings. Yeah. And we're here to try it out. Right. Can't wait to try it. Wow, look at all these sides. It reminds me of a banchan from a Korean restaurant. So you get these little nam nung looking things. I think it's just pork on a stick, a bit of satay sauce, and son's favorite lettuce. Vegetable! <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, to eat the bun sao here, there's a wrap. You get the pork, you get these rice papers, lettuce, the radish, cucumber, you get the bun sao, you wrap it together and you eat it. It's kind of strange. Here's that delicious bun sao, wow. You got pork, you got shrimp, bean shoot, bean sprouties. Crispy, oily deliciousness. Let's make one of these bun sao wraps. I've never had bun sao in a wrap. It's like a rice paper roll, it's so strange. And this is uh, very questionable, this rice paper. I feel like it's wrapping paper or something. Look at this. Eh, I don't know. So, we're gonna get the bun sao. Bean shoots, pork, shrimp, wrap that in. You're gonna get some of these sides. A bit of radish, a bit of cucumber, a lettuce, and then you have these giant pork sticks here. Just gonna plop it right there. Rip it off. Oh my god. <laughs> Almost dropped my drink, dude. Sauce, it's like a satay sauce, I think. Peanut satay, hopefully. Let's try it. Cheers, guys. Bun sao in Dano. Mm. That's a wonderful way of eating it. I really like it. So I'm gonna eat the bun sale with beef instead of pork today. So we got rice paper here. Also with so I've got an empty shell. <laughs> a bit of bean sprouts. Let's wrap it up. I've never eaten bun sale this way at home before and usually just eat it with lettuce wraps 
and the bun sale itself. And my grandma usually makes it with corn and chicken and tofu for me. Not as good as my grandma's, but still pretty good. <laughs> It's a taco burrito. That was some pretty awesome bun sal. I really like how you had to wrap it. One of my, probably the best bun sal I've had and one of the better things I've eaten in Da Nang. Oh my God. Oh, watch out. Oh, Delena thought it was okay, but her grandma does make better bun sal. I ain't gonna lie. Bun Only sal. because fresher produce, better beef, better meats. I'm just spoiled with delicious food by my grandma. Yeah, your grandma's a chef, so. You can't compare. Awesome. Central Coast and it is known for its well-preserved ancient town. People also call it the Lantern City. So let's go explore together! We are eating at Banh Mi Phuong, which is a popular Banh Mi joint in uh, wherever we are, I forgot. <laughs> it's been reviewed by Anthony Bourdain and that's why it's so busy right now. A huge line. Where are we again? We are in Hoi An. Hoi An, Hoi An. A popular Banh Mi place in Hoi An. So they've got Banh Mi Tit Hao. Ah. Tit, what the? Tit Mui, what the? Human meat. <laughs> Here's all the meats. Whole bunch of fresh bread. You got chicken, you got shredded pork, pate, wow. All the women working very hard to make these delicious banh mi. Oh wow. The famous bun mi in Hoi An. We got a chicken bun mi and a pork one with cold cuts. It looks pretty good. High quality bread and meats and also this packaging. Oh, wow. And it was quite cheap too. So here's the signature pork bun mi tit hao. Inside lettuce, um, chilies, pork, more pork, crispy pork, delicious. Cheers guys. Wow! The best banh mi I have ever had. Spicy, the pork, juicy, crispy. Pate is amazing. Fabulous. 
All right, I'm gonna try my first chicken, bun mi. I haven't had bun mi in Vietnam yet because all the other ones we've been to are all pork. So I'm super excited about this. Look! Wait, I haven't bitten into the meat yet. Is that just a photo or is that out? Wow, it's so different to what we get at home. That's delicious. Oh, that's really delicious. What an experience eating Vietnamese banh mi in Vietnam. That was banh mi at banh mi food. Yes, authentic banh mi. Vietnamese banh mi in Vietnam, one of the best experiences and the best banh mi I've ever had. Yes, it was so cheap and I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, $1.60 AUD for one of those amazing bread rolls. Make sure you guys check it out. Yes, come here. Banh mi phu in Hoi An, whoa. Pizza, taste the difference. Oh damn, Hoi An, you beautiful at night. You can also go on boat rides here and also buy those little lanterns that float on the water. So we are now taking a boat onto the river. It's hard to see because it's so dark, but there are actually boats here. On a boat, so we're going down the river of Hoi An and releasing some candle lanterns for into the water for great luck. Mm. We also on a double date with Lubin Tui. Yay! Oh, damn! Oh. Hello. Yeah. Hello. 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 Oh, we get beaten. Nice Hello. vest, bro. This is low. This is real low. It's having a mad smoke. And here's the lantern with a candle inside. We're going to drop it off make a wish and hope that it doesn't damage the sea life. I'm sorry. I think they're biodegradable. I don't, yeah. you know what, just, just go. Million subscribers. Oh, nice, babe. Oh, oh yeah. Put yours out. Make a wish. Oh. Oh. oh I don't wish for anything. Oh, yeah. Don't make that wish, girl. Okay. Go for it. I wish for our friends and family to be healthy and successful. Yes. Oh. Uh, mm. Lucky I'm not your friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wish come true! Yay! Oh, nice. oh. Alright, wish for YouTube success and a long happy life. For who? Uh, for all our friends and family. <laughs> YouTube success for them too? Sure, why not? <laughs> Yeah. And it's oh, yep. Yeah. Go away. Go away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wish come true, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh uh, don't tell us your wish, babe. So we'll never know. Okay. Yes. Just don't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Fail. Oh. That cost fifty thousand dong per person. It was pretty good experience, and you get quite a ride. Awesome stuff.
also love all the restaurants here. They're full of lanterns. Awesome. Go Lao. $35,000 for one. Go look. It was amazing and so good. <laughs> hey guys, this video was sponsored by ExpressVPN. When we're on the road traveling to different countries, it's important to have a VPN for security. And we like to use ExpressVPN. Boy, what is a VPN? V for Vietnam, P for pineapple, N for I don't know. No, completely off, Dad. Dumbass. ExpressVPN protects you from hackers or people trying to steal your private information. When we log on to free Wi-Fi services overseas, our phones are completely vulnerable. I mean, hackers could steal our passwords or some of my darkest and most private photos. And we don't want that, no. We, I mean, I take a lot of ass selfies. We don't want that at all. Oh, do we? Oh, do we? No, we don't. And you can also use ExpressVPN to watch those annoying YouTube videos that aren't available in your country. With ExpressVPN, turn it on and you can stream some of the greatest and only the best things. <laughs> Paris by night is blocked in Australia. Can you use your VP? Uh, your, what is the uh, PP? You use your PP to help me. V <laughs> ExpressVPN costs less than $7 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. My parents are gonna love that guarantee. How much warranty can I get for the guarantee? You can also get three months free within a 12-month subscription by clicking on the link in the description box. Or by typing www.expressvpn.com slash Johnny Day. ExpressVPN. Protect yourself today. Okay? Good. Bye.